Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cappy. Overall energy for the reading, the Empress. Nice. Um, I see this as you kind of stepping back into your power, basically. So we'll see more about that when we clarify. In the recent past, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the King of Wands. All right, kind of had a rough ride here over someone. There's definitely this King of Wands character here, which I don't know who that is to you, but. They seem to come in with an energy of um, charm, confidence, and then there's you on the other side kind of being like, shit, um, I'm going through crap because of this situation with this person, which I don't know what situation that was, but it definitely didn't feel necessarily pleasant. Um, in the current situation, the Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, taking your sweet time, you know, grounding yourself, going within and learning from whatever life brings you, basically. Because I see these choices thrown at you, this, these options, these, hey, what are you going to do about this? And then the way you're handling things is in a very smooth, calm, learning from kind of way, which is nice. Um, in the immediate future, the Page of Cups, the Judgment, the Seven of Wands. Kind of having to make a decision that you may not necessarily like, but you're coming from a good place here. Whatever decision you're making, you're coming from a good place about it. So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Empress. Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords. All right, so a little bit conflicted here. I feel like there's a direction in which you want to go. There's determination there. There's knowledge. There's you being in that place of, I know what I got to do about this, and I'm going to do it. Um, however, there's some sort of an energy that's stepping in to confuse you here during this process but it's not taken away from your determination about it though because i see you still going at it just a little mm, arguing with yourself along the way you know just a little bit not much so whatever it is you're doing here you're obviously stepping into your power and you know what you're doing um do i want to touch the past there do i do I really? Let's do the Nine of Swords in the recent past. Knight of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. All right, so there is, well, there was at least the potential for love. It was here. It was definitely showing up. Um, the both of you kind of seem closed off to it. The both of you. Not only one, not only them, not only you. Both of you. Um... In terms of, even though you may have invested here emotionally, you didn't give it all. You didn't, you know, you were protected, they were protected. You kind of went for it, but, eh, limited. Um, hmm. Let's do the King of Wands. You gotta fill up your feeder, boys. The one upstairs, because this one definitely has food. That reminded me. Uh, let's see the King of Wands. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. All right. So, 
Whatever this energy is, I see them bringing in passion, bringing in love, wanting to bring that to you. Um, but I don't see them stable in the way that they were coming in. They were coming in, but they were not staying, basically. So it was like, here, you take a little bit, and I'm going to go because I have other stuff to do. And then I'll come back to give you a little more. But I'll go again because I have st stuff to do. You know, so I don't see that constant, linear kind of giving to this situation. But man, it, I mean, whenever they did show up, it felt good. Uh, let's see here. Let me see the Page of Pentacles in the current situation. Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords. This could be in regards to a job or a career of some sort, or there's something. There's something in regards to some choices you're making. Um, it could be tied up to a partnership of some sort, working with someone on something, uh, teaming up with whoever, whatever. It doesn't have to be work necessarily. It could be a project that's at school even, or you know things like that, partnering up with someone. Um, and I do see you again looking at these choices and not rushing through them, not really blah through them. Um, kind of learning, learning as you go. And then I do kind of see an energy of uh, walking past a collaboration of some sort. So that tells me that you might reject something that comes your way, even though it feels good. Maybe it doesn't feel like a match at this time. Not now, you know. It doesn't mean forever, it means not now. Um, let's do the Hermit. Four of Wands, the Temperance card, the Eight of Pentacles. Your focus right now is shifting towards creating some sort of uh, stable environment for yourself. And for some of you, yes, it could include someone. If that's the case, that someone is already here. Um, for others, it's the focus, the primary focus is the stability. And then if someone jumps along with you in this boat along the way, okay, you're open to it. But um, it's not like you're going out there to look or anything, because again, focus simply sells. Um, let's do the Seven of Cups. What's up, baby boy? What's up? What's up, baby boy? Yeah, I know. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Star, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, you're very, very determined here. You're showing up in a lot of determination to build something, to work on something. So I see your energy all the way in there. Your focus is all the way in that place of I'm building up my empire or something. You know, it's material. You're you're clawed into the material, basically. Not in a um, materialistic kind of way, in a I want to create stability for myself kind of way. You know, slowly but surely, as it comes, you're you're rolling with it. Let's do the Page of Cups in the uh, immediate future. Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Chariot. All right, so there's love showing up here, the potential for love at least. And I don't see you jumping on board. I don't see you, I see you acknowledging it, but being like, no, thank you, pass. Um, and it's happening fast. You're making this decision quite fast, quite in a split second kind of thing, the way you're looking here. You're rejecting it. Your, your first instinct is, I see this love. I don't want it. Back away, love. And I'm going to go in the other direction. And I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to go. Kind of instinctively go in the opposite way. Um, kind of have a suspicious here. Uh, a suspicion here based on whatever showed up here. Um, You could be considering this a distraction from your goal that you're you're building something here. I don't know, but who knows? For the judgment card, you get the lovers, the three of wands, the ace of swords. Or it could be as simple as 
I'll know when it comes and it fits me and it's what I asked for from the universe. So this might not be it, even though it's showing up as here. You got love. You asked for it here. And you're like, yeah, but I didn't ask for this one. So, because you're showing up right next to this energy as, you know what? I'll wait. It's not, it's not now. It's not what I manifested. So it's kind of like, you know, that's why instinctively you're rejecting this. You're like, nope. Uh, let's do the seven of wands in the um, immediate future. Ten of cups, three of cups, the magician. Ooh. Well. I don't know if you heard. Uh, something's looking like it's coming back possibly from the past. Something that looked stable at some point, something that may want to recreate this with you. Now, this could go two ways. This could be either the person that embodies these, this energy, the person that was already in your life, or it could be a brand new person bringing this kind of very similar energy that you've already experienced with someone else. Whatever it is, you're kind of being like, ah, eh, mm, I don't know. So that's interesting. I didn't expect that. Uh, let's close it off. Let's see what the universe has. Ten of swords, two of wands, nine of wands. Um, something has closed off for you. It could be this situation from the past, this in and out kind of situation that was never kind of stable there. Um, but something is closing off, has closed off for quite some time. And what dragged it on this whole process was your own resistance to it. You know, what made it stretch for longer than maybe you wanted to. Um, this closure or whatever you want to call this, but something is definitely okay. Now it's done. Finally, you know, um, now you're showing up even a little, just an ounce, just an ounce of, yeah, I don't really want it to end, but yeah, it's gonna, you know, so I don't know, but it's coming. The closure, the final closure over this. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.